from the Boulder Cove map. So in the last stream we got the mixed juice sailing done, we got the transit done, and we've got our first developments underway. Now I have got a YouTube video on how the custom zoning works and the logic. In this first part we'll look at it in action. So we go over. So this is the custom zones I've got to set up. I've got seven custom zones set up. Neighborhood, which is light, low density, residential and commercial. Metropolitan center, high density, residential, commercial. Mixed residential, light, oh sorry, low and high density residential. Now this one's gonna be important with deaf ways. I'll get to this in a minute. Town center, high density residential, but only low density commercial. General business is basically the commercial and office, where this is going to become more applicable is with your tourism and leisure zones. You don't want residential in there, noise. City centre, high density, high density, office, and then the business park, if that's ever to be used. So if we look at the mixed residential, which is here, you will see that at the moment it's only low density residential in there with the odd pocket of high density now for yumble what happens is where you create your seven zones and then you pick so uh, let's go here so say i want to put down zone three it's mixed residential it supports low density and high density residential buildings. So when you put that zone down, either a low density building will build in that one or a high one, that's evil or. We go to, not general business, the city center zone, so Z6. If I put that zone down, either a high density residential building can go down, a high density commercial building can go down or an office building goes down. Whereas in the normal zones, it's only one of these and then you would have to mix and match your zones whereas this allows in this case any of the three to be built so it allows either this to be built this to be built or this to be built in the case of mixed use residential this one becomes a little bit of a kicker as you can see i have got it zoned down it's all zoned down here and i've got it backed up by some mixed commercial now, what becomes intuitive about it is that it will start with low density and when demand allows for it, it will switch over into high density, thus avoiding a death wave by zoning too much at once. If you've accidentally dropped down a whole pile of this zone, it will go off with light residential which doesn't have many neighbour um, households and then when it's ready, it will shoot up to the next one. So you allow that demand to come in. So it allows for gradual upzoning. And it saves you having to dezone, rezone, and having the building abandoned and go up again. It will just build. So that is the other wonder of the zone custom um, zone custom zone tool. In this case, we've got and it has done it, because I've seen it in action. So if we go here. Uh, I think it's the Metropolitan Center, this one. Yeah. So high density residential, high density commercial. Yeah. So it is definitely that particular zone laid down. So in some cases you'll get, oh no. Uh, is it the Metro or Town Center? Hang on, let me get my zoning correct. It doesn't matter which one it is because it's um no it's definitely not town center it's um definitely metro so it's doing the um yeah it's definitely metro so i'll just dezone that because i need to do something else with that okay so what it's done so the metropolitan center is high density residential and commercial 
And what you'll see here, in this instance, is we've got a commercial. And the very next building along, we've got residential, same zone. The as the demand goes up and down, um, in, in most cases, because I've got realistic population on rebalance on, it should hold what it is. If this is commercial, it's sh it should stay commercial. But if we've got a, a, the graph tilts one way and goes up into high, while the other one is zero, that commercial will come out and be replaced with um, residential and vice versa. So it matches the demand up and down. Again, it saves you rezoning and zoning. It also saves abandoned buildings just sitting there in a dead zone. So your zones are constantly full of buildings, which means you've got revenue constantly going in. So that is the wonders of the custom zone mixer and of course all these are based on the Auckland unitary plan so that's how it works so you can see it in action again residential residential because residential is in demand and there's also commercial across the road residential 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 commercial residential so it's meeting the demand and supply. So that's how it how it works. Intuitive, yes. And as I said, you won't have dead zone once the it's developed. You won't have dead zones. This will fill up eventually. That's a sky blue. I think that's Yeah, general business. So that's uh, me allowing for offer. So of course it's dead zone. But there's no residential in there. Um, so yeah, although you can see it's starting to fill up bit by bit as we get more educated sims. Good evening, Drennan. I hope all is well with you. Good to see you as always. So yeah, that's the custom zone tool. So today we are on expansion. So we are expanding as the city continues to grow. So, let's tuck in, and as they say, hashtag, let's do this, hashtag, let's not. Right. Again, I've got this on the YouTube, so I've just put up the first part of the Zone Mixer. The second part will go up next week. Um, no, I just want standard park in this case. Uh, is that noise or happiness? Happiness. Okay, so we need it. There. And that should be okay. That shouldn't... Shouldn't necessarily dip. I hope it's not going to. If it does, I think it's close enough to the road not to worry. Right. So let's get going. So first thing we're going to do is just factor in some bus stops. I don't want them all stopping on the side of the road there. Because it'll be a multi-thing. So one there. Prop anarchy is off. Oh, it's going to have a dip because... It's fine. I mean, that's just because that is quite low. So that's an easy one to fix. Is this way the terrain is naturally sitting? It's okay, it's no big deal. So what is that? So that allows those buses to come in when they're ready. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's all. Let's move this over. Morning, Pirate. How are you? Hope all is well with you. And hope all is well in the Rainbow Republic. Oh. So that's...
That just allows me to work that out when I come down there in a minute. When those buses start coming down here. Got the metro set up. I just actually need to see where that other one is. There. So he is possibly going to come down here. He is going to... Oh, we've also got him available too. To come down this way. He's going to go across. Uh, where's he going to go? Probably that way. He is going to go... Yeah, metros are going to be fickle on this. So, it's okay. It's just... Right. So what have we got? Residential. So let's push on. Well, again, we'll use our mixed residential. Backfill this all in. 